Hello everyone. Today I am demonstrating my GPS demonst my GPS demo that I made. Um, as you can see, I've already walked some distance. Um, in the top left corner is the latitude and longitude, and I'm just going to walk some for uh, a little bit further. And as you can see, as I'm walking, uh, the distance keeps increasing. So I'm going to keep walking until I get to about 100 meters. And as you can see, once I passed 100 meters, I got a coin. Um, I have it set up so that every 100 meters, uh, your coins go up by one. And that's really it. It's a very simple application. Now that I've done this, I'll show you the code to make this work. Okay, before I show the code, I wanted to show the screen here in case the glare caused problems in allowing you to see the screen for some parts. So you can see the latitude and longitude are up here. Distance walked and coins are right here. The other thing I wanted to show, though, is what happens when the application loses focus, um, either because you minimize the application or pause it or whatever. So as you can see, when that happens, the GPS gets disabled, which is a smart design because that way you're not wasting valuable resources when your app isn't currently up and running. And when I return, uh, the application resumes. Now that I've shown that, I'm going to show the code which you can see it's just one file, it's not terribly complicated. First thing I have here to simplify getting the state of the location service, I create this enum. I have disabled, which is whether the user has GPS disabled or GPS simply hasn't been started yet. Timed out, which is what happens when after a set amount of time the initialization hasn't happened. And failed Failed is when initialization just completely fails, and enabled is when starting has succeeded. Now if we go to the constructor here, the start, um, we can see that first I check to make sure it's enabled. You want to make sure to do that, because if GPS is not enabled, this isn't going to work. Once we have verified this, we want to start the location service. Um, here I set a wait time of 15 seconds. You can make it wait longer or not. It's up to you. Um, but after that, uh, the reason start is returns I enumerator is for this reason. Uh, while it's initializing, we don't want to proceed. So we have this while uh, the status is initialization status, and while we still have wait time, we want a wait a second, then decrease wait time, and keep doing that until either we timed out or initialization is finished. And if we timed out, say so. If the initialization failed, then we want to note that. Otherwise, we succeeded in initializing. So we set our state to enabled, and then we set latitude and longitude for the first time from last data. And here you can see the pause code. It's very simple. If we pause, then we just want to stop. For the moment and then set it to disabled and then otherwise it's the same startup code. Now I'm going to skip on GUI for a moment. That will be the last thing I'll show. Next thing I want to show is update. If we're enabled then we want to get the, the di difference in distance from last time. This uses the Haversign formula. You can find about the formula here at this website. Um, essentially what it does is it takes the previous latitude, the current latitude, and the difference in latitude and difference in longitude to determine how far someone has traveled. Here I use the previous and latitude and longitude as references so that I don't have to grab it from last data more than once, the, the new latitude and longitude, which I set here. Then I determine the difference, and in order for this formula to work, Latitude and longitude are in degrees, but sine and cosine and tangent all use radians, 
so you want to make sure you convert first before you use them. Now the first thing you do is you take the sine of half of the difference in latitude and square it. Then you add that to this, this large multiplication here. First it's the cosine of the previous latitude in radians times the cosine of the new latitude in radians times the square of the sine of half the longitude. We store that for use later, then we set, then we uh, change our previous latitude and longitude to the new versions so they can be used later for displaying. Then we take the arctangent of the square root of our a value and the square root of 1 minus our a value. Then we multiply that by 2 and store it. Finally, we take that value and multiply it by the Earth's radius. For this application, I use the Earth's radius in kilometers, which you can see here, 6,371 approximately. And that's it. That gives you the distance in kilometers. Now, for the purpose of the application, I wanted it in meters. So after I get this value, I multiply it by 1,000 to convert to meters. Then I check if the distance I obtained is greater than zero. That way I'm not doing assignments if the distance hasn't changed. That said, I add to the distance and then I calculate coins again, which as I mentioned is every 100 meters um, I add a coin. Now let's look at the GUI. Uh, GUI is very simple. All it's doing is it's taking latitude and longitude and displaying them, and then just displaying distance walked in uh, the coins. Uh, what I'll show here is what happens if the initialization failed. If it, the state is disabled, then we tell the user, hey, GPS is disabled. Make sure you enable it in order to use this application. If initialization failed, then we tell the user that and try again later. If we timed out, uh, we tell them that connection timed out and to try again later. And that's it. It's not that complicated. The most complicated thing, if anything, is the formula. But once you understand it, implementing uh, GPS technology in Unity is very simple. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching.